Ladies and gentlemen, C1 Walani or C0, was it really worth it to get a constellation for her? Now, currently she is C0. I'm going to be testing her out at C0, and then I'm going to activate this constellation here, constellation one. This constellation is actually a big part of her overall constellations. I'm talking about C6, where it removes the ability for it to trigger only one time during the night soul blessing and makes it so you can do as much as you want which is massive since we only have c1 we are only going to focus on the one time trigger during the night soul blessing so what am i talking about exactly so during the first surging bite for sharky surging by whatever you call it you have a 66 percent increase in damage of Moalani's max HP. This instance is subject to the diminishing damage rules. So if you get more than three characters, you just focus on those three characters and she'll be doing a lot of damage. Not only that, but also out of combat, her Night Soul Blessing state consumes 30% less phlogiston and Night Soul points, which is very awesome, which means you can ride Sharky or the surfboard for much, much longer, which is pretty much awesome. Now I'm going to be testing out her C1 and I'm going to be choosing a victim real quick. All right, let's pick a single target so we can pretty much guarantee only having, you know, just set rules and seeing how much damage we can actually do. Now I'm going to be trying out um, with Furina and without Furina so you guys can have a little bit of a, you know, just some knowledge on what's going on. All right, so let's test out just full on three damage three things without constellation one this is at c0 at 29 29 all right it's not bad okay okay yeah my hp i realized was was, was kind of low but it's okay it's okay um i should show you guys the build for my Molani. um it's not the greatest build of all time i still haven't finished building her and i'm i mean i'll get to that eventually uh, crit rate at 73, crit damage at 144. What this means is I'm over capped at crit rate, which means it's at 110%, especially because I have the four piece of the Obsidian Codex, which is unfortunate, and my talents are only at 177. So yeah, there is a lot to be improved in my kit, and I know that. Okay, so what I want to do is actually <laughs> heal up my Moalani. And you guys already saw the damage generally. Um, I hit 29 at 29, and with... Uh, Gene, it's 32, which is pretty nice. I think it's pretty nice. Here we go, Furina. Boom. My Furina is C2, so I don't have to focus too much on getting a lot of those points. Okay, 43. 43, just straight up. 43. That's 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 a lot. That's still a lot. Mualani can hit much, much harder. Um, but I want to just compare what it what she does right then. Okay, and we're also going to do a little bit of vaporizing. So. Let's do that. Here we go. We do that. We guarantee one vaporize. Boom. 89,000 with vaporize. Which is pretty nice. Okay, here we go. I'm going to heal. I'm going to use a vaporize with Furina. One, two, three, and boom. Okay, 188,000. That is a lot of damage. All right, we used all our stops there. We used all our stops. Um, 188,000 is really good just for one simple attack, right? But now we're going to go into Constellation 1 and see how much more this advances. And I'm, I'm hoping for some pretty good stuff here. Boom. I can't go back now. But if I really wanted to see the difference, um, I can just do one trigger during the Night Soul Blessing and then continue on doing damage and that will be the base. So you guys can have a little bit of an idea as well. All right, here we go. We we'll just want to use them to skill for now. And boom. Straight up the bat, we did 29 and that there is 58, which is so, so nice. Okay. We use Gene. Okay, actually my, my thing wore off. Let's do that. We use Gene. Okay, now we try. And boom. 64. 64 is good. 64 is good. Now we try one vaporize. Boom. Boom. Oh, wait. Wait, that misses? Boom. Okay, 200. <laughs> what? Okay, 
from I don't remember exactly how much I did before, but that's 28,000 without fury in a buff. That is that is nice. Okay, let's do let's do everything. Do Furina. Let's do Shangling. Let's do everything. Let's do everything. Boom. 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 <laughs> oh my and then 198,000 without without everything, right? So yeah, there's that. It's um I don't think that is exactly double. I think it might have been almost at or just below double but still that is a big jump that is a big difference obviously um walani since she goes off of hp and furina helps and during the team give extra hp because she is a hp scaling character is just really really nice and you can do some weird stuff you can add kazaha you can add uh Zhongli. you can add any new character that's going to give you a buff and you'll be having a field day with this so preferably you'd have a character that just gives you endless buffs right i i, I don't know this this is pretty great i think this is an excellent c1 and one that is worth it i definitely do think this is <laughs> This is worth it for sure. Just to get that, you know, beginning instance of damage is pretty good. Now, the value of it, um, I don't think it's better than just getting another character, obviously. But I do think that it is really, really good. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys think. Is it worth it for you guys? Is it not? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one very soon. Goodbye.